Hello everyone, I've got a big, big video for you here. This is the third and final Winter 2023-24 Season 1 Roundup brought to you via Gals Weatherfeed. So we are more or less at the end of our journey to the winter now. Just got this video to do for you today. And then tomorrow's 13th and final winter update. And then that's it. All that's left to do is to release the winter forecast next Sunday on the 3rd. Attempt. So this is a very significant and important uh, video in terms of itself and in terms of the Gauss winter forecast as well. Because the season models do play an element within our winter forecast. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Now we're going to go through 16 long range models from the World League Forecast Centres. See what they are all showing for the winter of 2023-24 for only the uh, third, but the, also the final time this season. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video today was our 16 UK weather forecast. We've got weekend forecast and a 10 to 14 day coming up to you today. Please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Thank you so much, Richard, for our amazing winter updates gift. This is the last week, can you going to see winter updates gift because... Next week, when we release week's forecast, we've got a special gift gift just for that. So thank you so much to Richard for our wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, winter updates gift. It's one of the best you've ever done. Rich, thank you so much, my friend. I love it. Right, okay, let's crack on with the third and final winter 2023-24 season one round. The first one we're going to start with is CANSIP. So this is a mean sea level pressure anomaly for December to February 2023-24. And uh, it looks unsettled. Low pressure uh, dominating across Western Europe from off the Atlantic. There's a blocking signal uh, to the north as well. And uh, we're bringing in a wind from off the Atlantic a little bit like that. But we're not all that far away from bringing north easterlies to the north of us. The temperature anomaly of this winter is about average, not an especially mild winter signal there. And a wetter than average winter is indicated, especially so for more southern routes actually going down to France, Bay of Biscayne, dig to perhaps up a little bit of a southern track injection. Notice it's a bit drier up here. As we progress through the winter, the blocking signal does increase with CANSIPs. Uh, right, we're off and ready. Let's have a look at NASA. This is a temperature anomaly of winter 2023-24 from NASA. Average is slightly above average in those pale orange colors on the temperature scale. That's around half a degree to one degree above normal. The precipitation uh, anomaly looks like that. Now, again, a little bit drier than average just to our north. A little bit wetter than average uh, down to south. Near normal precipitation once again. Uh, for us there for uh, NASA. This is G uh, GM, the Canadian model. Again, coming out a little bit mild on average in those orange colours. Uh, again, it's around half a degree to one degree above normal. And uh, it's a weak signal, but a little bit on the wet side, where ever so slightly above average precipitation there from the GEM. And car also going for a mild average or slightly mild average winter in those orange colours. Again, on a temperature scale, that gets us to around uh, half a degree to one degree above normal. Notice much of North America was indicated to have a cold winter there from uh, NCAR. So cold on that side of the Atlantic, but milder on our side of the Atlantic. And as far as precipitation goes, about average or no signal. Let's have a look at the potential prob probability forecast from IRI. IRI, of course, is International Research Institute for Climate and Society, part of uh, Columbia Climate School, Columbia University. So probability is favouring a colder than average winter there for Scotland. See those uh, blue colours. That'll be a consistent signal through this season of updates with um, with IRI probability forecast. So around 40 to 45 cent probability of below average temperatures there. For England and Wales, um, no signal in those white colours. So the probability is probably evenly balanced between being a milder or a colder 
for an average winter. And uh, again, for uh, precipitation, the province is neither favour a colder, um, a wetter or a drier than average uh, winter. So um, weak signals there for precipitation from IRI. Patal Peng's analogue, remember Patal Peng, we're looking at sea surface temperature anomalies across the oceans in any given month, in this case in October, and then compares back to previous years with a similar sea surface temperature anomaly, and then makes an analogue based forecast going forwards. So, a um, little bit different in the way Patal does this, but basically going for 200 billion per high time, we go for uh, high pressure in the Atlantic and extending out into the northern latitudes as well. There's a trough of low pressure towards Italy. It looks like that should bring in the wind from like an east or a northeasterly direction there uh, with Patal Peng's 200 millibar height on the forecast. The temperature anomaly is indicated to be around average, possibly a little bit cold out for Scotland. Notice much of the continent, or Western Europe anyway, indicated to have a uh, rather colder than average winter. So I think Patal Peng is indicated there that there could be easterly northeast winds through this winter. As far as precipitation is concerned, it's quite a weak signal, but overall probably a little bit on the uh, wetter side for Ireland, England, Wales, perhaps a bit drier for parts of Scotland. Um, again, that would depend how much um, of an easterly influence we have when we do block off the Atlantic. Uh, right, okay, just before we're going to get CFS up, we forgot to get the CFS. Wow, wow, wow. Hold up. Right, there we go. Fancy for getting the CFS. <laughs> the years, the years and years and years, people have always wanted me to uh, leave out the CFS model, and I never have. I always include it. <laughs> Those that don't want the CFS including you almost, almost, almost um, got your wish on this one. But no, we are going to include the CFS. It's actually 17. Well, well, well. Long range models from the world's leading forecast. <laughs> so here we go then. CFS, 700 of our heights of novelty. Of winter 2023-24. And, uh, well, I'm no surprise, I don't suppose, as it's CFS. High pressure down towards Spain. Low pressure to our north winds. <laughs> Coming in from the west southwest west A mild Atlantic-driven winter. Indicated their temperature levels from CFS above average. But red colours appearing. That's 1 to 2 degrees above normal. And uh, precipitation and knowledge from CFS. Wetter than average. And of a wet, a mild winter to come there. If the CFS is correct. Right, let's start going back to North American models. Let's start going through the European models uh, next. Starting with ECM WF. This has been seen on pressure anomaly from the ECM to SC as well, with an area of low pressure over the UK and Western Europe. There is a little bit of a reach over towards the Canadian side of Greenland. Again, winds coming in from more of a northwesterly direction, west to northwesterly, maybe. Uh, with about temperature anomalies a little bit above average by about half a degree to uh, one degree above normal and we see a wet of an average uh, winter being indicated as well keep in mind the ecm wants to increase the blocking signal later on into the winter right let's go through the copernicus suite next starting with Metro France. So, mean cell pressure on from Metro France showing a mid Atlantic ridge extending up to the south of Greenland. A trough of low pressure over to the east and country winds again, northwest to possibly slightly uh, northerly. The temperature anomaly, though, is a bit above average once more. Around half a degree, one degree above normal, and the precipitation anomaly is uh, wetter than average over and to the east of the country. Again, measure France also increases block signal later in the winter. This is DWD, the German model. Um, no placing a blocking area of high pressure around Greenland, Iceland. Low pressure is to our south winds in from an easterly direction, potentially uh, with that to them. And the temperature anomaly is cooler with uh, D2G actually showed no signal, so neither a cold or a mild winter uh, indicated, but the fact that it's not going for a mild winter is quite unusual for all of these uh, season models. They normally go uh, with above average temperature, so the fact that it's doing something different is quite unusual there. And uh, given the blocking signal, I reckon that will probably end up as a cold of an average winter precipitation, 
anomalies look significantly drier to our north. That's where the blocking is, of course. West to our south, it looks like the jet stream probably coming through here. Um, now, on the cold side of the jet stream, I reckon DWD hints at a colder average winter. We've also got CMCC. This is the Mediterranean model again. We're blocking around Greenland. There's a trough of low pressure across central eastern parts of Europe. Could we get wind in from uh, the north and from the northeast with that? Temperature anomalies uh, a little bit above average again, half a degree to one degree above normal. And um, precipitation anomalies not showing much of a signal, but does look wet and average to our east. And then we've got to be E triple C. And again, this one is showing a blocking area of high pressure around Greenland, but also extending into the North Latitudes, low pressure in the Atlantic, through into central and southern parts of Europe. It looks like the jet stream should be coming in uh, through there, so it looks like we should be on the cold side of the jet, and therefore we should be bringing in like an easterly type influence, particularly so for more northern regions, maybe. The temperature anomaly for winter 2023-24 with E triple C is um, no, no signal, but not a particularly mild winter indicated. And it uh, looks wetter than average to our south. We're here again, jet stream presumably is uh, generally to our south. So I reckon E triple C also could be hinting at a colder winter. This is an amalgamation of all the Copernicus suites of models. This is uh, C3S, and um, this one has low pressure over and uh, to the east of the country. The temperature anomaly is a little bit above average, and uh, the precipitation anomaly, a wet winter, is indicated there. And then we've got the JMA. So this is the Japanese Meteorological Agency. Mean sea pressure only for winter 2023-24 with uh, above average heights or with high pressure. City child west, southwest, low pressure is up to north. Probably bringing the wing on the northwest, southeast alignment. The uh, JMA indicates an Atlantic driven December, but by February indicates something potentially colder. The temperature anomaly and more blocks as well. The temperature anomaly is just about average, really, about average a half a degree above normal. Uh, and not much of a signal with the JMA for precipitation. Jams Tech temperature anomaly looks like that. So a mild of an average winter is indicated again by about half a degree to one degree above normal. And uh, it's going for a driving average winter in the North Atlantic, uh, a wet average winter in the central part of the Atlantic. That could be indicative of a little bit of a negative LEO type signal. Keeping the Asian theme going, and penultimately, we've got Beijing Climate Center. This is the 500 mil of our high zone for winter 2023 24. Beijing Climate Centre, again, blocking area of high pressure to our door, potentially bringing wind from an east direction, low pressure here off the east coast of America. That'd be a very cold signal, by the way, much of northern and eastern uh, America. Temperature, I should say, 200 mil of our height anomaly. Um, basically, blocking around Greenland and low pressure through there. You could envisage winds coming in from an easterly uh, direction. I think especially through the earlier part of winter, interestingly, a little bit different for a uh, you know, winter as well, but it does look like the early part of winter with base climate centre could be the colder period. Uh, the temperature only is average ever so slightly above, as with most of these models. And um, precipitation wise, we look drier than average to our north and wetter than average to our south. I think that could be shaping up for a cold winter. And then finally, we've got our very own UK Met. And um, this one looks generally mild and westerly to finish off with low pressure in the North Atlantic into North. Northern Europe, high pressure down towards Spain, similar to the CFS really, bringing the winds from off the Atlantic in a westerly fashion, going for a mild of an average winter with both orange colours on the temperature scale, but about half a degree, a degree above normal. And lastly, a wet of an average winter is indicated there from uh, the UK map. And that's it, that is your third and final winter 2023-24 Season one roundup from Gas Webby, 17 long range balls within 15 minutes. That's not bad going, is it? So if you enjoyed this video, please do like, share, 
and subscribe it. It's a mixed bag there. I think generally the American, whilst other Batal pairing looks set for a westerly Atlantic driven winter, I think the European bars look a lot more interesting, potentially the Asian bars too, particularly basic climate centre. But I think really those European models look a lot more interesting in terms of of hinting at a colder winter with uh, blocking and, and whatnot going on through several of those models within the high latitudes. It's not apparent through this update because we've only been looking at 7th of February, but a lot of these models increase the blocking signal later in the winter as well, which is very typical of an El Nino winter. So a lot of those models, if you drill down on a month-by-month -month basis, that's what you do our live stream tomorrow. We're going to go through those Copernicus suite of models on a month-by-month -month basis. And and we'll, you'll see how they all stack up, you know, through December, January, February. But I can say that a lot of those models do indicate the blocking signal increases as the winter goes along. So there we go. That's the third and final winter 2023 24 single roundup. We're going to do the final winter update for you tomorrow. That's the 13th and the last winter update. And then next weekend, next Sunday, it is winter forecast time. If you've enjoyed this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Spread the word about Gas Webbins and the UD content we are producing week in, week out, month in, month out, year in, year out. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. We're going to be back uh, shortly later on with your weekend forecast and a 10 to 14 day out. Thank you so much, Richard, for our winter updates. Jeff, uh, beautiful. Thank you so much, Rich. Great. And uh, for the third and final winter 2023-24 season, we'll round up that's all now. And thanks for watching.